oath, it is sealed, signed, and delivered, as this is one of the many evidences and testaments of the good works of the man you came to raise his hands up for Ikiti people to vote for. I'm sure you're very proud of him because he has done you proud, he has done Ikiti people proud, and I think we should put our hands together for this exemplary visionary leader of our time. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, two more speakers before we have the host governor. And at this point, I'd like to invite the national chairman of the People's Democratic Party to the microphone, Prince Uche Secundus. Let's put our hands together for him. After the national chairman, His Excellency, the former president, will speak. And then the host governor, Peter Ayodele Fayoshe, will cap it up before we move into the commissioning proper. Thank you. Your Excellency, the performing governor of Ekiti State and the chairman of PDP Governors Forum, your brother governors of River State, Akwa Ibom State, Abia State, and Gombe State. Your Excellency, are their leader and former president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Goodluck Ebele Jonathan, Your Excellency, the wife of Adair Governor, Your Excellency, our candidate, the Deputy Governor, and the candidate of PDP, members of National Working Committee, leaders of our party, your royal majesties and highnesses, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, Nigeria! Hello, Nigeria! Can you see what is happening in Ekiti State? Can you see what is happening here in Ekiti State? As you can see, a new brand governor's office, the engine room of government, today will be commissioned. Nigeria and the Kitty people can see that when the governor came in, Fire came in in 2014, he turned every situation in a kitty around not only in a kitty state but all our governors the governors who had achieved a lot for their people every day on the pages of papers on television we can see projects being commissioned or be inaugurated across this country by only PDP governors. Your Excellency, on behalf of the National Working Committee and the leadership of our party, we are very, very, very proud of you. And we are also proud of all our governors. Our governors are united marching forward to reclaim our mandate in 2019 by demonstrating that they can work, they can deliver, and they can perform. All across this country, from Gombe to Taraba, the difference is very clear to rivers and Bayasa and Akwaibo Manabia, in Enugu, in Eboi, by next week, we will be going to Ebony to commission very, very important projects in that state. We'll also be visiting Enugu. We will do the same. And I believe that Nigerians have seen the difference. Those who can promise and fulfill their promises and those who have totally refused to fulfill their promises. The difference is clear. 
that the time has come for judgment of the people. Not only the judgment of the people, but the judgment of God. A few promised Nigerians that Naira will be won to dollar. Have you done it? Have you performed? If you promise that fuel will be less than 60 uh, Naira per, uh, uh, per liter, have you fulfilled your promise? Today, fuel is almost 200 Naira per liter. Nigerians are suffering. The poverty level in this country, uh, no one can imagine. Nigeria has turned to be the uh, capital, uh, uh, the world capital of poverty. Uh, from the north down to the south, people are being killed on daily basis. Is that the change you are looking for? This is the actual change when you can look up and see edifices like this. You can see that it's practical. You can see that you can touch and feel the achievement of PDP. Once again, our dear governor, we are very proud of you. On our way coming, we saw the longest in this part of the country, the longest flyover. How did you manage with your mega salary, with your mega revenue? How did you manage? It takes the heart of a lion. Someone that is committed. Someone that believes in his people. Someone who is patriotic to build this office and other projects that will be commissioned later in the day. By the grace of God, all our governors are united and we are marching forward in 2019 but all we ask the powers in Abuja all we ask is that the election should be free and fair the PDP demonstrated that we have capacity to conduct free and fair primaries and we did that in a kitty state in fact, even APC people applauded it. That is the new PDP. That is the new rebranded PDP. We are going to do the same in Oshu and across this nation. That our election will be based on the choice of people. It will not be in position. It will not be by violence. It will not be induced by money. But it will be free and fair and the choice of the people. And by that way, we believe that the people will vote for PDP, even in a kitty, because it was free and fair. We ask the federal government to do the same, to conduct this election that is coming, let it be free and fair for all, so that the international community the world will see that Nigeria is moving forward in democracy. If not, any rigging, any attempt to rig is a recipe for crisis. And we know the problems always start. But God forbid it will not start from the kitty. But unless they keep to the rules of the game, we I experienced enough to know that during MPN, the problem started from here and it engulfed the entire nation. Our prayer today that all the committee they have set up, let them show what they have done in their states. Not to come to a kitty to rig election. We believe that we will keep to the rules. One man, one vote. One man, one vote. One woman, one vote. One youth, one vote. That is the only way. And we ask the president, Buhari, to preach one man, one vote. 
we ask APC.